Hello and welcome to Dialogue. I'm Yang Ray in Beijing. Serbia used to make up the main part of Yugoslavia and has had good long-term relations with the PRC since World War II. As Chinese President Xi Jinping chose Serbia as his first stop in the Central and Eastern Europe visit, how can the two countries deepen their bilateral ties in present days? How should we view Serbia's efforts to join the European Union, which is now facing various crises? Last year, I was honored to interview Tomislav Nikolic, the president of Serbia. In the interview, he shared his views on the history of Serbia and the two-side relations. Before we go into the interview, let's first of all take a look at this background report. Tomislav Nikolic is a Serbian politician who has been the president of Serbia since 31st of May 2012. He's also the founder of the Serbian Progressive Party, which he led until his election as president when he was elected to a five-year term in a second round of voting. Before winning against Liberal Boris Tadic, Nikolic had lost two presidential votes to Tadic in 2004 and 2008. But four years later, he won the runoff against Tadic to become the country's president. Serbia officially applied for European Union membership in December 2009 and the European Commission recommended making it an official candidate two years later. In January 2014, Serbia started formal accession talks with the EU with the goal of joining the 28-nation bloc. The membership negotiations are expected to take several years, as Serbia has to bring its laws and institutions into line with EU norms. Serbia's agreement to Kosovo was the key which allowed membership talks to start. Kosovo broke away from Serbia in a conflict in 1999 and declared independence in 2008, a move that was condemned by Belgrade. Serbia is the first strategic partner of China in Central and Eastern Europe. In 2013, Tomislav Nikolic visited China and held talks with Chinese President Xi Jinping, who held a welcoming ceremony for him in Tiananmen Square. In 2014, Chinese Premier Li Keqiang paid an official visit to Serbia, where he attended the third leaders' meeting between China and Central and Eastern European countries. Premier Li met with Nikolic and they pledged to cement the two countries' strategic partnership by enhancing cooperation in infrastructure. In September 2015, Nikolic attended China's commemoration, marking the 70th anniversary of the victory of the Chinese People's War of Resistance against Japanese aggression and the world anti-fascist war. Mr. President, welcome to Dialogue. Both Yugoslavia, which is later called Serbia, and China deserve credit for resisting successfully overseas aggression, fascist aggression during the Second World War. And yet, unfortunately, the Yugoslavia Federation fell apart in the civil strife. What lessons can we draw from the disintegration of the heroic Yugoslavia Federation? Pa pitanje je da li je ikada iko izvukao ikakvu lekciju iz rata. It is uh, questionable whether anyone has learned any lessons from the war. Uh, Yugoslavia disintegrated in the worst way possible uh, by way of war. From this, uh, with the benefit of hindsight, I can say that it should have uh, withstood uh, because such a state could have been workable nowadays because we used to have a common market and common products. Uh, this integration was aided by Slovenia and Croatia. These were the countries that particularly wished Yugoslavia to disintegrate. But um, this wish was also backed by the Western European countries that helped its disintegration. But this brought nothing good for uh, these countries. Um, and uh, Slovenia and Croatia are nevertheless somehow isolated within the European Union. They uh, are riddled with their uh, own respective economic problems. They do not have access to the same partners that Serbia has nowadays. Uh, they have no such uh, such big market as, um, is, as Serbia at Serbia's disposal. Serbia has a free market worldwide. It has no restrictions in trade whatsoever and uh, it is striving to preserve the old Yugoslavia, Yugoslav friendships. You know, Serbia doesn't need to pursue any uh, common uh, policy 
common foreign policy, it has its own. We could um, find a way um, for better cooperation um, and by that I mean the former Yugoslav states. And Serbia is ready and open for cooperation with the former Yugoslav countries. Kod njih ima problema i to uvek utiče na naše međusobne odnose. Could I put it this way, Mr. President, were it not for the leadership of the strong man, uh, Josip Broz Tito, the national hero during the Second World War, the uh, Yugoslavia Federation would have uh, fallen apart long time ago because uh, former republics of the Yugoslavia Federation, such as uh, Slovenia, had long wished to secede. Um, therefore, if, or if you also associate this issue with uh, the reasons behind the disintegration of the former Union, where you used to have a strongman leadership like Joseph, Joseph Stalin and other successors uh, since the end of the Second World War, then we call into question, is it sometimes necessary to maintain very strong and tough leadership? I would like to answer one a zašto se dezintegracija ne dogodi u Sjedinjenim američkim državama? I could uh, reply by a counter question. Why didn't the United States disintegrate? Uh, there are times when the fate of peoples depend on an individual's will. Um, but these are usually hard times for citizens. Um, at times, uh, people feel at ease and they start thinking differently. Uh, because I, d I don't think that uh, democracy necessarily excludes the existence of a powerful individual. Ja, ja this powerful individual can rule democratically, but uh, and it doesn't necessarily suppress uh, democracy, the democratic rule. Uh, this individual uh, has to be succeeded by another. We need to enable this process. Josip Broz Tito uh, made some mi mistakes, but the people pardoned him, and nevertheless Yugoslavia uh, withstood, it endured. Uh, his ideology was that we're all brothers, uh, that uh, we're living in a post-war period in a new state, uh, that we can forget about everything that had happened in the past. This was the ideology of the Communist Party of Yugoslavia. But he did not prepare anyone to replace him because uh, after his reign uh, we had a joint, joint administration and all the uh, republics gave their uh, respective representatives and immediately we had uh, disagreements and quarrels which led to the disintegration of Yugoslavia. In countries with many peoples, with many republics, with many uh, provinces are always uh, more susceptible to uh, disintegration and uh, I always draw attention uh, of the leaders uh, of these countries uh, to this fact. These countries are a fertile, fertile soil uh, for disintegration. Disintegration processes always find a plodier than integration. Again, let me go back to the role that uh, President Tito in not only resisting the German fascist aggression during the Second World War, but also in resisting the open intervention from the former Soviet Union after the Second World War. Don't you think a great country does need very strong central government, very strong central leadership to hold a country that is composed of uh, many different ethnic groups together? Zaista politika Josipa Broza the policy pursued by Josip Broz Tito regarding the Info Bureau resolution was very de determined, resolute. He rejected the possibility of the Soviet Union uh, commanding either the foreign policy or the domestic policy um, in Yugoslavia. Um, Josip Broz Tito, on the one hand, uh, pursued a brilliant foreign policy. However, for the Serbian people, uh, these were difficult times because he, as a representative of another people, could never accept the ruling role of the Serbian people within this country. Um, I have to say that I believe that strong individuals need to exist in a state. 
But we're in countries that is composed of many peoples, um, this individual um, needs to come from one of them, and then which one? Uh, there has to be uh, a common idea and uh, uh, the idea of progress and a country needs to be based upon a pattern. Yugoslavia was based upon a pattern uh, because uh, you had the leadership of one Serb and one Croat and one Slovenian and so on. But um, uh, this um, uh, will hardly produce a strong individual. We need to have a long passage of time and some other condi conditions need to be uh, met. I think that uh, democracy is the best possible uh, governmental system because the people need to choose an individual uh, that can also be replaced by the will of the people if he or she are not doing their uh, uh, job in a uh, correct manner. Serbia has paid a heavy price for, the win for winning the membership of the European Union. You want to very much to join the European Union. As a result, somehow, you handed over Mr. Slobodan Milosevic, who was a national hero in f resisting overseas intervention, in maintaining the territorial integrity. However, he was described and demonized by Western media as a dictator. Is it a wise policy to hand over your national hero, at, w at least in war times, uh, up to the expectations of the European leadership? Um, <coughs> in Serbia, we have had a parliamentary system for uh, 150 years now, so uh, Serbia knows what democracy is. Um, Slobodan Milosevic was the hero of our resistance to the NATO as any person in Serbia at the time was. Uh, the difference is that uh, uh, many things depended upon him at the time. Um, he made a disastrous mistake when Serbia struck an agreement with NATO and this agreement was also entered into uh, by Russia. It is very difficult to say that a person is a dictator when 70% of the nation uh, votes for you and places your trust in you. However, Serbia wishes to join the European Union. Uh, we are trying um, at the same time to preserve our sovereignty and our territorial uh, integrity. We have met uh, almost all the conditions so far, but there is the possibility of this final condition of um, the condition of Serbia recognizing Kosovo as an independent state, which we will never fulfill. We negotiate with Pristina representatives uh, for the sake of better livelihood of the people living in Kosovo and Metohia because they should also have a chance uh, like all the others. Serbia has endured a lot on account of Kosovo and it will endure a lot for the sake of Kosovo. When it comes to um, democracy and uh, the principles of the international law, um, they have not been fully met in the case of uh, Kosovo when the Western countries uh, recognized it as an independent state. Uh, and by this example we can see that the democratic principles are not envisaged uh, by science, they are not prescribed by the science, but by those individuals who are currently um, in power. For instance, in the United States, when the police uses water tanks or um, if they are accused of the overuse of force, a state is not called undemocratic. But uh, Slobo when Slobodan Milosevic did the same, he was labeled as a um, dictator. And I know that as the president of a small country, I cannot do what the presidents of major states can do, because if I do that, I will be accused of being a dictator. We decided to invest in the construction of the Mum Boka Bridge across the Donabu uh, River in Belgrade it was completed last December. What do you think of uh, our joint ventures? Yeah, I have to say that 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 I have to say that
Nije Kina investirala u taj most. When it comes to the Zemun Bojta bridge, I will just have to correct you briefly. This bridge was not a gift. It was a Serbian investment and China was a contractor owned by the Chinese party and it was a business relationship, business venture. And I think that we will build another bridge in Belgrade. We visited the company that built the bridge in Belgrade and I have to say that this might be a good way for China to come to Europe via the bridge. Thank you, Mr. President. I have to leave you there for the moment. You are watching dialogue with Mr. Tomislav Nikolic, the President of Serbia. I shall be back in a short while. Stay with us. Welcome back, Mr. President. Uh, we understand your uh, wishes and ag even anxiety in applying for membership of the European Union. However, the no bloc, uh, European Union, is seriously flawed for the following reasons. First, you had the uh, devastating financial crisis, the, what we call the sovereign debt crisis, that plagued almost all the members of the European Union. Secondly, you have this uh, debt crisis of Athens in Greece. Thirdly, never before has the European Union had such a devastating crisis of uh, migrants from the Middle East, crossing in vain most of the time uh, uh, the Mediterranean to reach what they consider paradise. So this issue is fast becoming a serious problem that prevents countries, for example, like your country, from joining this regional, uh, these concerns. You have tackled <coughs> many uh, major issues. We could be discussing them uh, for days. But first, uh, let me touch on the Serbian prospect. Serbia is surrounded by the European Union, either EU member states or the countries aspiring to become um, uh, EU member states. So how could Serbia possibly remain isolated and it is in the heart of the European Union? But when it comes to the global, country, uh, the global financial crisis, the EU members uh, have also experienced it, but they were able to uh, receive funds existing within the European Union. While Serbia, uh, for example, last year we uh, faced with um, disastrous floods and we had to get by our own means, while Croatia, on the other hand, just appealed to the EU funds and uh, was granted um, the necessary funds for uh, renovation. Uh, when it comes to the issue of the migrants, uh, the founding fathers of the European uh, Union used to exploit the African countries for centuries, and uh, there were some military interventions that are, were uh, aimed against uh, uh, dictators and um, this resulted in the disintegration of these countries. However, it also gave way to extreme fundamentalism. 90% of migrants uh, want to go to four European countries. And Serbia is just a, a transit route. And this, is, this has been the Serbian state because the Balkan Peninsula and Serbia in general um, have always been a crossroads of um, all the conquerors. Everyone had to uh, cross uh, Serbia going from one continent to another. This has been inevitable. Um, today's migrants, they have established an extraordinary uh, relationship with both the Serbian people and the Serbian uh, authorities. And on the other hand, Europe is building fences, dispensing itself off. A few years ago, um, EU expanded uh, at an unprecedented pace because uh, some countries that were either close to the Soviet Union or were with the Soviet Union 
of countries such as Bulgaria, Romania, the Baltic countries, the Czech Republic and so on, they were admitted into the European Union with no conditions whatsoever. Uh, the aim was for the NATO, for the EU countries to get as close to the Russian borders as possible. And now this has come back with a vengeance because all these countries are experiencing a crisis. And they uh, are riddled with problems in the judiciary the human rights and freedoms and so on, and Serbia will fulfill all these conditions before joining uh, the European Union. When it comes to Greece and the crisis in Greece, uh, well, Germany can be angry uh, with Greece, however, they have to assist because this is their uh, obligation uh, due to the common funds and policies. Um, the European yeah, Union is not based is upon love, it's based upon interest, and Serbia is looking for its own interest in this uh, union of countries. Uh, Serbia will try to join the European Union because it is in the heart of Europe and uh, Serbia will not let be accused of being against the European Union. I believe Momentum and dynamics of this regional integration, like the European Union, is based very much on their same values and the same culture, if not same religion. The last issue, religion, may serve as uh, either a stumbling block or a cohesive force. Serbia, which was ruthlessly abandoned, ruthlessly abandoned by Boris Yeltsin uh, during the uh, uh, the war. Uh, are you disappointed? Are you left disillusioned with Moscow? And therefore you go west, you want to join the European Union. I think you are right. Because if you think that we are the The troubles of the European Union, um, they are not founded on uh, religious issues. They, uh, uh, they derive from uh, the principles upon which the European Union is founded. Uh, for instance, you can look at Romania and Bulgaria. These countries are also or orthodox. Uh, uh, the trouble is that the major powers believe that they are more equal than others, the founding fathers of the European Union. But nevertheless, Serbia still wishes to join the European Union. Uh, when it comes to the uh, common foreign policy, uh, it is obligatory for all the EU member states, but this could be um, a, a bone of conflict between uh, Serbia and the European Union. There are two um, tragic persons uh, in the history of the um, Soviet Union, and these are Yeltsin and Gorbachev. They uh, have uh, exerted negative influence both on the Soviet Union and the Yugoslavia. But this is not modern Russia. Modern Russia would not, uh, would not have allowed Yugoslavia to be bombed and it would not have allowed Yugoslavia to disintegrate. Um, the then Russia even sided against the sanctions imposed against Serbia. So I was angry with Yeltsin at the time, and nowadays I'm a major friend with President Putin. So it all depends on the individuals. Uh, the modern Russia um, vetoed a shameful resolution aimed against Serbia in the UN Security Council. Uh, concerning Srebrenica, and Yeltsin's Russia would not have done so. Serbia cherishes its friendships with China, with Russia, with La Latin America, with Belarus, with Azerbaijan, and also with Ukraine, even though um, the official Ukrainian authorities have a conflict with um, Russia. The, uh, Serbia also cherishes excellent relations with both the European Union and Russia, which have um, a conflict, which are involved in a conflict. So, uh, in a way, Serbia's position is unique because it has friends worldwide and it adheres to its own principles. Uh, we are not so big, we are not a major power uh, to allow ourselves the freedom not to adhere to these principles. Thank you, Mr. Tomislavny College for your insightful comments. Thank you, sir.